Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to talk to you um, about how to make your wig less shiny. I am wearing today John Renault Julien and I have reviewed this wig before in different color a long time ago. So um, I will leave you the review, link to the review here under the eye. Uh, so I don't have to go through you know the cap features this is 100% hand tied cap beautiful wig um beautiful curl pattern but but as you can see it is very very shiny there is no way i would go out in it just like this and this is pretty normal for synthetic wigs so there are two types of synthetic fiber just like this and then the other one is true to life or heat resistant they all call different things so you know like a lot of uh, Raquel Welch wigs that I wear they uh, are made out of heat resistant fiber which means that you can style it up to certain temperature and those fibers look very natural they are not very uh, shiny but there are some cons to those fibers those fibers are much more delicate and they much more prone to tangling and getting all sticky so you have to really look after those wigs this one won't tangle as much but as you can see it is very very shiny um, but there is something you can do by simply using dry shampoo also first of all when you get the wig you could wash it and then dry it leave it to dry and then use the dry shampoo i haven't washed this wig this is straight out of the box and i see that this wig needs a bit doing to it so first thing is to take the shine down and i think second thing is thinning out this front this is a bit thick you know uh, it's definitely too heavy at the front too much hair as you can see julian is like a angled bob but the curl pattern is just beautiful so i think i might try to thin this bit out first because when we put the dry shampoo in the fibers won't be as silky and I've shown you before how I do this um, I have these thinning shears that I've bought on Amazon and it is pretty easy you just grab a small section of hair brush it through make one cut and pull and that takes excess hair off and you do just bit by bit at first so you don't go overboard but it is so easy you can't really make a mistake well you could if you don't do it right and if you go too hard on it so you know that is quite a lot of hair but it hardly made any impact so I will keep doing that till I'm happy with the thickness of this hair Okay, so this is how much hair I've taken off already and you know it didn't make that much impact so don't be too afraid because you know wigs always have much more hair than we have ourselves okay I will leave the thinning for now wanted just to show you how to do it just be patient and slow okay let's now try to make it less shiny so 
I found it the best um, shampoo, dry shampoo is the Batista shampoo and these days they come in different colors which is quite good because if you have a dark wig and you spray with the original one you might get this white cast but this is brilliant for, for blonde hair. I also bought the dry shampoo in brilliant blonde and I've already talked about it uh, briefly in one of my other videos as you can see this wig is very platinum and this has tiny bit not yellow color but it's a bit warmer color so I can add some um, warmer bits to it by spraying this shampoo on this blonde wig I don't want to use just this one because I I feel like this wig will need quite a lot of dry shampoo and I don't want to make this wig too yellow. So I will probably use two of them. So let, I, I will do this side first so you can see. And then I will take the Brilliant Blonde in a minute and spray a bit more of the Brilliant Blonde. Okay, so can you see the difference now? So this is the side that I have sprayed with the dry shampoo and this is still a very shiny, untouched side. What I actually like as well that this gives you a bit like flyaway hair and I think this looks much more natural, you know. No hair looks so silky and smooth, real hair, especially blonde bleached hair. And that's what gives it away, you know. I'm sure you've never seen bleached blonde hair that would be so shiny and so smooth. You will always have a bit of flyaways. So that's all you need to do really to your wig. I'm going to do this side. Also, another trick, if you want the flyaways to be gone, and there's still some hair that is coming out. Um, all you need to do is spray your wig with just some water, and I will show it to you in a minute, to bring the smoothness and the curl back. Okay, so you just need one of those spray bottles, which you can get in any drugstore. Fill it just with simple tap water. And look, for example, if I brush these, these curls out, and now the wig is not as curly, I can so easily bring those curls back and the smoothness. Basically just spray it with water, scrunch it, leave it and you will the, the curls will just stay like this. So it's really simple. I just want you to know not to be afraid of the wig. You know, you wouldn't just wash your hair or go to hairdresser, have your hair cut and just left like that and think, well, that doesn't look very good. Wigs still need some adjusting, you know. They are all made the same way, so when you get Julian, they're all the same and you might want to customize it. You can cut a bit of a fringe in it, you can do lots with it. If you are not confident enough to do it by yourself, just take it to your hairdresser and they will be able to do it for you but there is so many things that you can safely do at home you know like the thinning I think is quite safe but I always say if you are not sure what you are doing don't attempt to do it yourself okay let's spray the other side I want you to want to show you the difference again And don't be shy, the, the hair doesn't go all sticky and horrible. It still feels as nice 
as before I sprayed it. You see how much whiter this side is to this one? So I'm going to warm it up with that one. So that's how easy it is to fix shiny wig. Plus it smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if I've done the back well. I would have to look in a mirror. So this wig is from Mima Wigs here in the UK, uh, but I will give you the link to that and I give you a link to where you can buy this wig in USA. Remember, I will only give you links to reputable companies, not any Facebook con people. Okay, my lovely, so that's how you fix the shine on your wig. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.